dear friends, I'm sure all of you have sat for an exam at least once in your lifetime. Not just one, isn't it? Many, some of you. And you know the value of memory when you want to recall what you have studied. And when those questions in the question paper test your memory, how much you have appreciated what you remembered. Isn't it? That's really good. Centuries after centuries, or rather after millions of years, nature has given us a wonderful machine, an intellect, a sharp brain to human beings in the modern era. And this time, at this time, our human intellect has grown to unbelievable levels. And we have made use of this human intelligence to produce so many things, to invent unbelievable things. Now, dear friends, if I ask you a question, as intelligent people, do you want your intelligence or your intellect to be sharp or to be blunt? You would say, yes, I want to be sharp. Of course, you have an, a sharp intellect. You have a good memory. But unfortunately, we do use this memory, this intellect, not just to pass exams, but also to hurt ourselves. Imagine someone who does not know martial arts, right? Gets a nice fighting sword. And uh, you have seen some martial art masters just rotate it around their head and uh, wave it and uh, make some nice, beautiful, artistic shots around. You try the same thing around you and you cut all over you. Sharp bleeding. Just exactly what we are doing with our sharp intellect. We meet hundreds of people who are suffering today not because of anything else, not that someone has come and bombed you. Not due to this, all these uh, queues around you have hurt you. You have never stayed in a queue probably. But your own intellect, your own good memory have hurt you. How much of anger we keep in our minds? Why? For what? To hurt someone else? This anger means, the grudge means poison. You know, it's poison. It's, it spoils your blood system. Ask the doctors. You just try a medical test when you're really angry. The composition of your blood is different. It's scientifically proved. And your systems are not working perfectly. 100% they don't produce what they should do. When you're angry, you change. In Sinhala, there's a nice word, le venama. Your blood becomes water. Probably, the literal translation is that. Your composition changes when you're angry. Why are you angry now? Over someone else's act. Someone had done some, something against you, and now you're angry and you're keeping this poison inside you. Exactly what we are trying to do is, I take that poison in, I drink poison and expect him to die. Will that ever happen? Can you do that? Can you drink poison and expect someone else to die? That will never happen. But what are we doing? We are trying to harm our own selves with our own intellect. And Jesus tells us, dear friends, today, when you come to offer sacrifice, why do you want to offer sacrifice? To please God. Why do you want to please God? To get a favor from God, right? 
you want a blessing you want something for your life and you want peace more than anything else come on you can off offer me 101 sacrifices the whole world you can bring whole universe and offer me but nothing will happen to you no blessing will come on you no peace will come into yourself because you are harming your own self you are keeping that grudge with your brother or sister go go home and get reconciled with your brother and come keep that poison away and offer the sacrifice yes i'll accept your sacrifice and bless you you will be at peace dear friends during the season of lent we make lot of sacrifices we do penance we fast having done all that what do we expect we don't eat meat and we declare that we don't drink drinks all that publicly or secretly somehow we do it i've been trying all this time since i came to this parish to tell you tell my parishioners and worshipers not to publicize your penance and some of you really do it now and that's something nice however publicly or privately you are doing your penance what do you want by doing this penance again what we seek what we strive for is peace of mind happiness and love for christ and love one another to improve in our spirituality our spirit has to be uplifted our emotions to go down how can this happen when my memory keeps on bringing the past past incidents those bad experiences i wonder sometimes why this happen to us human beings this happens because probably we have not given up our animal instinct you know some funny fellow told us that we evolved from monkeys no probably if that had happened we have anyway the similarities to number of animals someone else can tell that we are kind of evolving from elephants because elephants memory is really good now however this animals do eat the cud you know cows they take their yesterday's food and keep on eating have you seen that animals like cows and goats do that if you have ever been to a farm if you have ever seen a cow and human beings can't do that can you eat old food what you ate yesterday whether it's inside you outside unless it's refrigerated now when you eat old food it gets poisoned same with your bad experiences since we can't eat old food like the cows would do we now human intellect we can recall our past memories past incidents and we can revive it we can recall it and rather than enjoying it we are harming ourselves we are poisoning ourselves again and again and again why have you got to do is i'm not still sure probably we have not understood self love for self love some of these professionals would neglect their duties to go for a party they call it self love how can that be i don't know if it is real self love what you need to do is to sit down and go back to the past if you want to because it's troubling you so much forgive forget and come back to the present and live your present if something happens today just leave it there and go i just test you just state he wanted to make sure that before he dies he has to forgive those who have hurt him he used the best method how he said just father they do not know what they are doing forgive them forgive them for what they are doing and your friends we can go for confessions 
Next week we are planning to organize confessions. Even today you can make your confession. And we can confess all our sins. But if you are not forgiven myself, God will forgive you. The priest is the sahih and he bless you. When the priest blesses you, he bless you in the name of God and in the name of humanity. Our sins we have committed against all of humanity will be forgiven. Against God will be forgiven. But the third party who is hurt because of our sins is you yourself. When you don't forgive yourself, sin remains. Hurt feelings remain in you and that will never end. I know most of you understand it now. Therefore, the first thing we need to do is to one has to forgive oneself before we go for a confession. I have to forget it. And I have to forgive the other, one, other person who have hurt me and I have to forget all what has happened because I do not want that in my memory. So dear friends, let's try to understand our own selves. Let's not keep this monster in us anymore to hurt us. Let's try this, this is difficult because we like sometimes this old food. The moment that you feel that you are recalling an unnecessary past incident, remember this, we are not cows. We are not cows or donkeys. We are human beings. We need our intellect to be sharp. Therefore, I don't want to cut my own self. Rather, I leave it behind. I forget. I forgive my own self. Let's pray for this intention during this Mass. Amen.